Welcome back everyone, and happy late Lunar New Year to all those who observe the holiday. Thought I was gonna leave y'all hanging again, hmm? Anyways, before we start, I want to make it clear that despite being a polyglot, I do not know or speak Mandarin, so apologies in advance for any improper pronunciations or culture insensitivity that may occur. I'm just trying my best here. Today we have the Great Hall of the People in the People's Republic of China, or more humorously known as Taiwanese China or West Taiwan. And yes, I do know that I will lose, be losing social credit points here, but hey, I'm trying to be a global citizen and accommodate to everyone. Located adjacent to Tiananmen Square, in which simultaneously nothing happened and most major national celebrations occur in China, this is the historic heart of Beijing. Behind it sits the National Center for the Performing Arts, the Forbidden City, also known as the Palace Museum to its left, the Mausoleum of Mao Zedong to the right, and directly facing the Monument of the People's Heroes and the National Museum of China. As a city, Beijing was founded by the Zhou Dynasty in 1045 BC, and fast forward thousands of years later, Beijing now has a population of nearly 22 million people in the 2020 census data, putting it somewhere between the 7th and 9th most populated city on Earth and a nominal GDP of 619-ish billion dollars. As one of the most influential cities on Earth and the capital of the second most powerful country on the planet, Beijing holds some of the world's most stunning architectural landscapes, with many star architects, that being famous architects, having made contributions here over the years. Since construction started in 2017, notable attention should be given to Xiong'an, which will become the new administrative capital of China in 2035 as part of the Central Committee's actions to relieve Beijing of chronic traffic congestion, overcrowding, pollution, and other quality of life issues. Fun fact, former mayor of Shanghai, Xu Guangdi, is the current leader, lead advisor of the project, which is intended to mark the pinnacle of the Xi Jinping era of China. Built in 1959, the Great Hall of, of the People, or the Hall to shorten it, is the crowning jewel of the Ten Great Buildings, a series of buildings completed on August 1st, 1959, examples of the international style socialist realism and historicism in architecture. This was to celebrate the first decade of the victory of the CCP, Chinese Communist Party, led by Mao Zedong against the KMT, the Kuomintang, also known as the China National People's Party led by General Chiang Kai-shek, which established both the current China and the runaway province or other nation of Chinese Taipei or Taiwan, as it is known in most of the West, which is based in the island of Formosa. The hall hosts many legislative bodies and ceremonial functions, which, bear with me here, include the National People's Congress, the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, the Central Committee, and the National Congress of the Chinese Communist Party. The design of the building was chosen from a competition and was Zhao Dongri and Shen Qi's design one, with Shang Bo being assigned as the chief architect. For full disclosure of the other segments of China's federal government, the executive branch of China is located in the Zhongganai compound and the judiciary in the Supreme People's Court, both next door in Beijing. Upon its completion, it was the second largest building on Earth for decades, right behind the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and it was the largest leg legislative building in the world until the completion of the Palatul Parlamentului, or the Palace of the Parliament, in Bucharest, Romania in 1997, only to then be surpassed by the Sapaya Sapastan in Bangkok, Thailand in 2021. So as for the actual uh, Lego construction of this building, expect me to make a future video or a future upload with uh, this building in particular because if you've noticed, there's a lot of negative space that I try to fill in with buildings with a lot of uh, empty space. So think of, uh, you know, the conference room, the theaters, all that sort of stuff that's built inside. And usually I would like to include all that detail, but for, for me, it was more important to release the video right away and have you guys be able to enjoy it and also try to stick to my own schedule since I'm trying to make this uh, a more regular occurrence, right? To standardize my release schedule. The last thing I'll say is that for me, this is actually one of my favorite spaces to study and to be in internationally because uh, if you're not from China or don't actually study it, you know, you hear a little bit about these places existing, but 
once you're actually there and you know I go on the Google Maps and put Street View it's it's quite breathtaking it's you know an incredible place to be and you do feel like you're in the middle of something important right so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this this piece for today and uh, I'll see you guys soon and also I hope you guys noticed the, uh, the increase in video quality because even though I'm a bit short on time since again I'm still a student I still want to make periodic improvements to each one of my uploads so I hope you guys do notice uh, that attention to detail and uh, feel free to add comments on what you guys want to see in future content and any suggestions right for, for me to do I have content pretty much lined up until March and then after that I just go through my collection so yeah send your requests and I'll see you soon